start off just with any fresh issues, injury issues, or anybody coming back for, for this one? No, all good. The lads, everyone who was involved on uh, the weekend, all trained today, yeah, so everyone's good. How's Jaden Bogle got through the, that kind of first real competitive test? Yeah, fine. Looked fine, didn't he? So, uh, yeah, he, he worked out well. It's, it's a step up for him. It's first team football. But he's been working hard fitness-wise. He's had a bit of time with the 21s. He's had a couple of weeks training now. So, yeah, we probably... I'm, look, look, it was the right thing to do in the game, I felt. So that's the reason we did it. But I also think, as we look back now, it's it, two birds with one stone, if you like. It's probably a real good progression for him as well in, in where he is coming back. Anel, is, is there any chance that he could be back at some point this week? Yeah, not tomorrow, though. Yeah, but you're expecting him back before the, for the weekend. Yeah, he's, oh. he's, yeah. So we're happy where he is. Again, we're led by how quickly everything settles down. But yeah, um, we're really pleased how where he is and how he's reacted in terms of him. Now he's he's not feeling any symptoms with what he's doing right now. So we'll uh, just keep moving him forward. And in terms of your review of the game at the weekend, now it is the the cold light of day. Are there areas where you feel the team could have been better on the day? Yeah, we always think that. Um, yeah. But I don't want to do, and I think I, I tried to make this point after the game, I don't want to do Birmingham a, a disservice and, yeah, we should have done this, should have They defended very well. And looking at it back, they did. But we, so for all the possession we had, for the, the good areas we got in, we didn't create as many chances as we normally do. And uh, some bits of us, which we've looked at today, but a lot of it, again, how they defended. Um, and then there were also key moments and again, and this isn't doing a disservice to Birmingham at all. You know, key moments where we get the other side of their midfield and the ball doesn't drop for us and it dropped for their midfield and they break the other way. You know, we, we're working hard to get the other side of their midfield. Uh, so, yeah. Yeah, there's a lot, lots of things we can be pleased about. Uh, and the same areas we want to be better because we're going to face... I think we knew what the game was going to be like. We spoke about it, didn't we, before the game. So. We, we'd done his homework, we knew what it was going to be like and, and we've, it's not the first time we've facing that, it's not, not the last. Um, and uh, yeah, so we, we have to keep looking at the games and try and keep getting better and better. How impressed were you with Raider Kadra's versatility that he's shown because clearly at the minute you are asking the odd person to, to take yeah. on roles that aren't natural I, to I them. I spoke with him this morning, so listen, deserves credit for, for doing that for the team. It's not his natural position. Uh, we did do it because we're at home and we wanted him to play higher and we, we were happy for John and Graham to get the other side of him a few times knowing that we had Reese. yeah, yeah. it does allow Birmingham the odd way to get out but we wanted Reader to play in a position he's probably a bit more familiar with higher up, higher up the pitch so yeah he's he, he performed the role for the team like he knows that I know that um, and I just tried to encourage him to be uh, a bit more positive when he's in them positions, you know. We don't want him playing in there as a left back. He, he's in there to, to hurt and um, use his qualities at the top end of the pitch. So that, that's all we've really spoken about today. That kind of attitude in general must be something that really pleases you as a boss. That you know that you can call on players to do things differently and, and they'll, they'll do what they can. Yeah, we've had it all the time. I think it's a good thing about the, the group of lads we've got. Um, who do it for each other, who do it for the team. We, we, yeah, from day one, from last season, this season, yeah, playing, you know, where you might think that that's my favourite position, that's where I'm going to play best, but knowing that you're going to have to play in a different role to help us win the game, and I think that's one of the reasons why we've we've had a strong start. You talked a little bit post-match at the weekend about kind of limited preparation time for, for games, and particularly now with the, the Saturday, Tuesday, midweek games. How much does does that kind of affect what your plans are and how you can prepare for a game when mm. you don't get much? You might not have the people you want, or you might not get the time to do what you want. Yeah, I think if 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 you've got a settled thing, you're not having to change. It's fine. It's easy. You make your adjustments uh, easily within an hour on the grass and the video and conversations. Um, it was just tougher for us having to make those false changes. You know. That's when you want time, that's when you want to see and weigh up options a lot more, that's when you want to see and work on bits that might be unfamiliar for people or um, how they can still be 
mm -hmm. really effective going forwards, but playing slightly out position. So that's when it, I think it becomes more difficult. If if you're having square peg square holes and you know a certain type of shape against shapes we're familiar with, and how we usually go about winning those games, then it's pretty straightforward because we, we don't really change the message. Uh, we just pick out the key bits which are important based on who we're playing. So. Um, yeah, I think that's the only time it's difficult. So can, say, like, you know, group discussions or video work ever really make up for just that time on the training pitch? Is Not that... for me. Part of it, everyone learns different, everyone sees things different, but then from my point, point of view, I learn on the grass. I want to see evidence of players understanding on the grass, you know? That, that's, that's why it's the grass. Everyone, we could, I could sit here with a presentation with you, we could go through everything about, yeah, do you get this, you're going to do that, you're going to nod at me like that, aren't you? And that's as much as I get. Whereas then if I'm testing that nod out on the grass and seeing if you do get it, the pictures are painted right and you, and you make the decisions align with everyone else's, then, then I, I feel more comfortable before we go into a game. How often do you kind of, you know, if you have done some video work or something, then go out on the grass? How evident is it and how quickly is it that if something's landed or not? Straight away, yeah. But you, you can't expect it to be straight away, but generally it is and most players is. And like, I think the familiar message is for us. It's just, again, back to my point, if someone's playing in an unfamiliar position, that's when you need it. If you're changing something drastically, if you've not played against a back four, for example, for a few weeks, you play against a back four or, you know, so these things, it's just revisiting. I think that's that me personally, then you want to see, right, how do we deal with this? If I ask them, will they all get it? Maybe if they're in a group, they'll all come up with the right answer, but then test it out on the grass and we see. In terms of QPR, are you expecting a, a different type of game from the one we saw at the weekend? Or yeah. another game where yeah, different, it's going to be challenged to break them down? Yeah, both, but in a different way. So. <coughs> uh, QPR have still got, for me, the same threats as the, they had under Mark last year because they've got some good attacking players, good threat on the counter, players who can have big moments in the game, so we have to be wary of that. Um, but there's a good hunger, hunger of them without the ball at the minute, you know, uh, and they'll probably play out a little bit more from the back and, and you try and get those players who are capable of big moments in, into the game that way, so, yeah. I, I expect the same tough game, but it'll be a different setup they have behind the ball to, to Birmingham. They'll still be the same threat on the counter to Birmingham. Um, but I think, like I said, then when if they make two or three passes, that's when they try and get the, the lots of movement ahead of the ball and the, and the bigger players, or players just are capable of big moments in, in good positions. So that might be slightly different as well. How impressed have you been with, with what Michael Beal has been able to do so far? Because clearly he's got a, a, another coach, we've talked about others recently, stepping up, big opportunity for him and certainly the recent run is, is excellent. Yeah, it is and, and I can see yeah, things knowing, obviously seeing bits of Michael uh, when, when they took the work at Liverpool with Stephen up to Rangers and, and I was at Hibs at the time. So I can see traits from the, the Liverpool to Rangers and things like that. So it's obvious now he's... He's making his mark on the team and uh, getting his ideas across because he's got some good players to work with, you know. So uh, I could see why, you know, he, he was excited about the job and the opportunity because, as I said, they've got some talented players in that squad, um, and that's for us to be to be wary of and mindful of. So yeah, it's going to be tough. We know that, but let's say we same same thing from us. We'll focus on us and and our performance and try and make it as tough as we possibly can for them. And clearly you have that experience of, of stepping up from being part of a team to, to being the boss. You know, just what what's the biggest difference, really, in, in that changing dynamic? Uh, I think probably, so, so for Mike, who's been coaching a long time, so I think we spoke before, I can't remember which game it was. It's not like you get sometimes ex-players are going from playing to managing, not having the coaching hours or the things that's so... Everything's probably strange and foreign, whereas Michael's probably got, well, I know he will have a lot of real strong ideas about the game and hours on the grass, and so all that will be familiar, you know, and the games, the sideline. So it'll probably be more the management stuff in terms of every decision's yours, everybody wants a piece of your time, and, and, and all the other bits that come with it, you know, um, which I think you, you only learn as you're doing them because 
and like I say, you can check, you go from club to club, and all those things are totally different again. So uh, I think that's probably the biggest change that he would find. I would expect because like I said, the football side of it, uh, he's been coaching a long time and he'll have got real strong ideas, and no, I wants to get him across. So it's probably the bit that's probably the bit he enjoys the most and is most comfortable doing. And just finally, Paul, it's now two months unbeaten. How much of a kind of thing is that in terms of just keeping that unbeaten run going as long mm. as you possibly can? Yeah, well, it isn't it? And it is because we'd, we'd say, I'd, I'd almost, of course, you want to keep an unbeaten run going. We want to keep it going as long as we possibly can. But I want to win games, and you'd rather have a couple of wins and a defeat than three draws, wouldn't you? Everybody would. So it's about the win, so, and we won't change. We'll try and win the game. If we draw in, we'll try and win the game, you know? And like I say, every now and again, it'll cost us, I get that. But it's the three points we're chasing, not the one. So, yeah, we want, we want to keep it going, but we wouldn't keep it going at the expense of changing what we do.